the spill pop in your DirecTV remote or you have a missing button like me or maybe a missing little lens and you want to fix it, make two good ones out of one broken or just clean the pop damage that you got in there you want to know how to get inside. First off, you flip the uh, DirecTV remote over, you slide the back cover off and there's these two screws right here. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver which I have already unscrewed the two screws. Then you'll flip it back over. You'll need something like a razor blade or something to pop this front cover off. You can see it's only clipped in at about three points or four points on the board. Really easy, what I mean by points is these little sections here, these little tabs. So once you get something under there and pop it up, you'll have four more screws with the same screwdriver. Next, you'll turn it over on the side and try to pry it apart. It will have some more clips in there, and I have one hand recording this to show you guys. But you'll pry it like that, and it will pop because you got some more little tabs on the side here. Nothing major like those ones. Um, not that those were hard or anything like that. Once you're inside, you can then take the remote apart. And if you did get it wet, guys, don't turn it back on until it's completely dry. That is the number one thing that destroys... Uh, water damaged components on a circuit board is when the battery is running through it and there's still a little dampness or wetness on the board. So then you're going to take the board apart. Once you take the board apart, you're able to then clean it. I would use alcohol and a Q-tip. And then even after you're done with that, you want to lay it maybe on a heat vent face down um, or in the sun, let it dry off. Give it, give it about a few hours, at least three, four hours. There's not really anywhere that the water can get soaked into under the circuit board other than this little section here. Uh, but once you get that cleaned up, um, it should work good as new. If one of your buttons is not getting contact, clean the back side of your, um, I think they use, God, I can't remember what it's used, but these little black areas right here, that's what gives it contact when you push on one of these buttons. And take a little, um, like a razor blade, and lightly just scuff scuff that up. That'll help give it contact. So if you're not getting contact on one of the buttons, that could fix one of your problems on your button. So that's about it. That's how you get inside a DirecTV remote. Thanks for watching.